In the last two videos, we've looked at how to create a pivot table, customize it, and then add filtering and sorting to the pivot table. In this lesson, we're going to take things a little step further and look at how to add grouping to the data. First of all, let's just run through creating the pivot table again. I've got my list of data. Make sure we've got somewhere on that data selected. And then just do data, drop down to pivot table, and make our selections. We're using Excel as the data source, and we're creating a pivot table. Data should be picked up for you. If not, just select the data in the range box. Choose where you want the pivot table to be in a new worksheet or in the existing worksheet, and then lay out your report. I'm going to choose something nice and simple. Um, I'm going to have my product name as my row source, and I'm going to put the customer as the column, and then I'm going to put quantity for my data to summarize the report. Click on OK, and then just finish the wizard. So there's the pivot table created. There's two ways to create uh, our groupings. One way is to add the fields in manually from the fields that you've already got. So say, for example, we want further grouping on customer. We've got the customers there, um, but perhaps we want to know a little bit about who sold the products. So we could take the sales rep field and add it in as a column source. If I just click and drop there. See, it puts this extra layer in just to hide the field list. And now we're showing all of Bertha's sales at these premises. Scrolling across shows the total for Bertha's field. So we've grouped by Bertha. Coming across, we've now got Fred's details. And they're the ones that he's done. Once we've got that grouping in, we can right click on the field and show or hide detail. We've got detail is shown automatically. If I hide the detail, it shrinks it down just to show Bertha, Fred and Mabel and their total sales. Or I can expand that up by right click, group and show detail and show detail. And it does that for every group if you select the field in that way. Let's right click, group and show detail and hide detail. But you can just select a single uh, item and hide or show detail. Again, I've selected Fred. If I right click on Fred, I can then do group and show detail, show detail, and it just expands up Fred's sales. Now again, there's no right and wrong way you put this grouping and you can click and drag things around. If I want to change that sales rep and put it down with the product name, let's try and put it in front of the, can you, you might not be able to see this, but I'm getting um, a dashed line there, and I'm also getting a dashed line coming down here that shows that if I let go of the mouse, where that field will be dropped. I'm going to drop it in front of product name first and show you what happens. There we've got all of Fred's sales of those products. And again, I can right click and show or hide detail. Let's expand Bertha. Let's try it on the other side of product name. So I'll click and drag the sales rep across to the other side of product name. And then it's, the main group is then the, the product and the subgroup is the sales rep. Whereas if it's on the other side, the main group is the sales rep and the subgroup is the product name. So it's up to you where you want your groupings to be. So I was adding groupings just by using the existing fields. Okay, so we've just looked at how to group by using the existing fields, but we can also effectively create a new field. Say, for example, we've got these customers, and I happen to know that these first three customers all live in the same county, live. All the businesses are in the same county. They're in Cumbria. So what I can do is select those titles, right-click on them, and then do group and show detail, 
and this time I'm going to select group. What happens is it's grouped those together as group one. You see a black line down either side of the group. I, if I click on group one, I can rename this. So I'm just going to type in Cumbria. So we've effectively created a group for companies in Cumbria. Let's go across. Let's choose these ones here. I happen to know these are in Lancashire. So I'll select them together. Right click, group, and group. And there we've got group two. So I can select that and call it Lancashire. Just do one more. These two, three items, a right click, group, and group, and these are all in Durham. So I've created groups for where these businesses are, and then that acts like it did when I used the fields. I can right click either on the group itself or on this new title that's been created for it. I can right click and do hide and show detail. So I can see, we do that on the field. My detail, and I've shrunk it down just to see the sales in Cumbria. Also with grouping, Excel knows uh, sometimes what kind of data you've got. I've just created a new River report. I can find it. Only this time I'm using the date as my column titles. So it's the same data, but I'm showing that on the 1st of May, I sold 500 Tellinos. Now if I, again, I'm choosing the, the date field. If I right click on there to do my grouping, Excel fires up this little dialog box that says, how do we want to group? We can feed in a starting date and an end date. I just want to find my sales in 2001. So I'm going to change that date to end at 31st of December 2001. Not too worried about the times in there. I want to group it by months. So I'll select months. You can do more than one grouping. You can group by months and quarters. We'll perhaps come back and have a look at that. So I'm going to group it starting in May 2001, ending December 2001 by months. Click on OK. It's grouped that data. It's consolidated the data to group by months. So I was right clicking on the date field, selecting group and group again. Excel fires up this because it knows we'll work with dates. Specify your times. Decide how you want to group it by. In this instance, I'm going to group by quarters and years. And then OK. And there we've got each year grouped down by quarter. So that's grouping in a pivot table.